The e-analyzer is one of three utilities included in Framework EDI or Freddy. It is used for validating EDI files. To validate an EDI file with the e-analyzer, just select the EDI file, then click on Open. We also have to add its corresponding CEF file, making sure that if we're validating an A37X098 EDI file, we have to load an A37X098 CEF file. It is important that we use the correct CEF file because when we hit OK, the EDI file will get validated against the CEF file. If there are any discrepancies between the CEF and EDI file or anything that does not meet the X12 or EDIFAX standard, it will get reported here with a yellow exclamation mark icon. In this example, the EA analyzer reported two errors and are both in the first transaction set. There are two. One, two. If we expand on the property node, it gives us some information of the transaction set. In this case, the error occurred on the A37 transaction set that has a control number 987654 with 53 segments. If we view the errors, the first column of the error line displays the entire segment where the error occurred. So this first error happened on segment REF. The second column is the actual count of the segment, starting from the first segment of the EDI file. So if I were to open up the same EDI file with a text editor, you can see that the REF segment is the fourth segment. One, two, three, four. The third column has the error code. We can get more information about this error by referencing the help documentation included in the Freddy installation. The error description would be under the Contents tab, then expand the errors, then find the error number 12466 then click on it to get a few more information about the error. The fourth column has the description of the error. This description tells us that code value B7 is invalid in data element 128. And the last column has the area or table number of the offending segment in the transaction set. In this example, the REF segment is located in area or table 1. Unlike the eFile Manager utility that actually displays the entire EDI file on screen, the e-analyzer just reports the errors. The advantage of not displaying the entire EDI file on screen is that validation is much faster because no time is spent loading and arranging the segments on a hierarchical tree. So use the e-analyzer for validating huge EDI files while using the e-file manager for viewing smaller ones.